it is kind of a community here. I say kind of because we always want it to be more, and I think it will be in the future. But we see each other in the hallways, and sometimes we make regular dates to visit each other's studios. And uh, every couple of months, there's a meeting of a formal showing of artist studios, artists that work in their studios. And I get to spend time looking at people, watching people looking at my paintings. And I learned so much from both those things. It's really taught me to make good work and to insist that my work is good, that it has color and composition and uh, that it has meaning. And though we really rely on each other a lot for that kind of, that kind of thing that artists need, which is feedback and encouragement and support. I paint trees and the light around trees and their trunks and shadows. When I go out walking on trails, I get hypnotized by the light coming through the trees and the shadows and the patterns that all that makes. And I take a camera with me and I use a slow shutter speed and I move the camera like that a little bit so I get a streaky image that's full of streaks of light and color. I abstract my experience and I take that back into the studio and I, I start changing it a lot more. So I simplify it usually and add more sky and I add color and I add to the colors that were there just for color. I do this work around where I live in San Francisco. I do it at Mount Tamalpais and Woodside and I'm trying to record trees and record my fleeting experience of them. These trees may not always be with us, and I'm very sad about that. But that's one of the reasons I do it.